Well, everyone, it's time for us to go into a little bit more of a roundup of the, you know, iPhone SE leaks that we have so far of the next generation iPhone SE that we should take a look at. And I will definitely tell you, there's a lot of good stuff going on with these particular devices. There's a lot of good things to love about them. They're not perfect phones by any means, but I will definitely tell you, I think the iPhone SE lineup can definitely make somewhat of a rebrand of this next generation of devices. And now that it's looking like with the next generation iPhone SEs, they're going to be taking a different approach. I'm very, very excited about them. We'll take a look throughout this whole entire video. The big thing to keep in mind with the iPhone SEs though, as you probably know, these are not going to be these massively expensive phones that you may actually expect. These are going to be anywhere from basically $450 all the way up to $600. They're not going to be like super expensive devices as far as we can tell, but I do think they're going to take that gap of what some other iPhones are basically giving us. So when you take a look at something like the iPhone 13, iPhone 12s, I, you know, these devices are pretty much going to go to the wayside. And I don't think Apple's going to really, you know, think about those iPhones anymore. But with the 13 and 14, I kind of do think that Apple's going to go through and kind of replace these bottom two iPhones and pretty much create a separate genre of devices that are going to be these iPhone SEs. And they're basically going to go through and just kind of keep these iPhones to the side. They're going to continue, you know, to make the most expensive iPhones. But instead of dropping down the iPhones, they're going to just make those other base models, which I think is going to be good because then Apple can go ahead and make these next generation models right there and focus in on improving them and giving us good prices rather than having us go through and kind of like have these older iPhones that might be good prices, but probably do need to be switched out. Another big thing that these iPhone SEs are going to be bringing is that they're not going to be changing a lot of crazy things that we're going to be seeing that we've seen before on other iPhones on this one. Like it doesn't seem like these are going to be completely watered down iPhones. These are going to be very good devices with amazing build quality for the most part and still very, very close to these next generation devices like the 16s and 17s as far as the rumors we've gotten. But they're not going to be like super cheap iPhones like these older iPhone SEs anymore. They're still going to be very good build quality. The cameras are going to be of great quality, probably 4K at 60 on the front and the back. And when you take a look at the iPhone SE third generation, from everything that we've seen, it looks like that this next iPhone is going to be bringing a lot of cool stuff to the table. And this is something I'm actually looking forward to so much. I'm so excited about it. And if I'm going to you know, tell the average person, I'd probably recommend waiting out to buy the next device because the iPhone SE 4 could be right around the corner within the next you know, nine months or so. So in terms of that, that kind of covers it up there. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, so then.